Hey y'all, it's Miso. Come on into my kitchen today where we're going to be making Miso's best Sunday meatloaf. Let's take a look. Oh, wouldn't you want to serve this to your guests, to your family, to yourself? Let's take a look at what we're going to be using. Here I have some um, ground sirloin. Here I have some ground hot and spicy pork. It's kind of like sausage. You don't have to use this kind. You can use any kind of ground pork you want to use. Okay, what else we got here? I'm going to be using some onion soup mix. You can use Lipton's. This happens to be great value. I have two eggs that I'm going to use. This is horseradish. Here I have three kinds of peppers. Some green bell peppers, red bell peppers, and Cuban nails. You can use your favorite peppers. It doesn't matter. I've got here some chopped up onions. I might be using a little bit of milk. I'm going to have it here just in case. I have some sriracha. Now this says hot. It's not very hot at all. I'm going to be using some black pepper, of course. And always some garlic. What will we do with that garlic, baby? I have here some Italian style breadcrumbs. Any breadcrumbs will work. I have here some thyme leaves. Going to be using a few of those. And hold on to your seats. I'm using some nutmeg. Yes, nutmeg can be used in things more than sweet potatoes and pumpkin pie. This is some cayenne pepper. Going to give it just a little bit of kick. And some yellow mustard. I have some old-fashioned rolled oats here. Now, these are not instant. These are rolled oats. We're going to be using just a few of those gonna play it by ear all right now we're gonna go ahead and start getting it together baby we're gonna crack these two eggs here and we're gonna put all this in the bowl first because we don't want to overwork our meat we want to do this first and then we'll just put our meat in and kind of just turn it over a few times I'm putting in now my horse radish this is some hot and spicy horseradish. But again, it's not really hot, but it's very strong in flavor. I'm going to just mix it up a little bit here. Now goes in my yellow mustard. Mm -hmm. I'm putting in my sriracha, baby. I always makes everything go nice. Love that sriracha. I put in some melted butter here. And now I'm going to put in my garlic powder. You put yours in to taste, however much you like. I'm going to sprinkle in just a little bit of cayenne. My, my meatloaf is not going to be hot, but it's going to have a kick, baby. People are going to remember it. Now it goes in a little bit of thyme. You don't have to use exactly all of these. Black pepper. Use whatever your favorite spices are baby because it's your meatloaf this is just a base now I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this up and now I'm going to put in my little bit of nutmeg it's going to give it a distinct flavor but it's not going to taste like much like a nutmeg it's not going to taste like a pie just a little bit of distinction everything coming out of your kitchen ought to have distinction baby I'm going to put in about a tablespoon, a little bit more, of these rolled oats. And now I'm going to get in my onion soup mix. Going to put that whole packet in. And we're going to mix and mix and mix and mix some more. I'm putting in two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then I'm going to put in some Italian breadcrumbs. I'm getting excited already because this is going to be good. Now I'm going to get in my peppers. Remember these were green bell peppers, red bell peppers, and Cuban nails. You don't have to. You can put in any mix of bell pepper that you want to put. Now I'm going to put in my chopped up onion. This is smelling so good already. Well, I've got my meat here. 
Now I'm going to start putting in my meat. That's my ground beef. And now I'm going to come in with my uh, my spicy ground pork. And remember I said it's, it's about like breakfast sausage. Not as greasy though. So now I'm coming back in with my breadcrumbs. I like this little gadget here. I love this. Take a look at it. It goes in and it really gets that meat all broken apart. You can use it in the frying pan or in the bowl like I'm doing right now. Great little gadget. I don't know what you call this. But it's sweet. So I'm getting all of this mixed up. I'm going to lose this gadget right now. Because now it's time for me to get in here with my gloved hand. Kind of like Michael Jackson would do. One glove. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to mix this up. Going to turn it over a few times to get it. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Everything is well mixed. But I don't want to overwork that meat because it will make my meatloaf tough. Look at my cute pan here. This is by Curtis Stone. I like this pan though because it lifts, keeps the meat lifted up and all of your fat and stuff goes down into the bottom of the pan and you have a nice formed meatloaf. So I'm going to go ahead and get my meatloaf into this pan. I'm going to just poke it down and push it down and get it nice and even as I can in this pan. I love the lifter because you don't have to run a knife around it and ruin your pans and all that stuff. You just lift it right out. Mm -hmm. Looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this into a preheated 350 degree oven. I'm going to cook it for approximately 45 minutes. Out of the oven it comes and looky looky. Now I have here some sweet honey barbecue sauce and some hoisin sauce. And I've just mixed those two together, nothing else. And I'm going to put it down over the meatloaf. Now if you want something more red or you could use ketchup or make up your own little sauce. But I'm using this hoisin and barbecue sauce. It's going to hit the spot. Okay, now back into the oven for seven or eight more minutes or just until the sauce is nice and bubbly. Bubbly, y'all. Out of the oven. And I'm laughing because it looks so good. But you see how it's separated from the pan? And you don't need to use a knife to run around it because we got this nice little duflachi that lifts that meatloaf right out. Look at that. Look at that. Let me get my plate here because I'm going to take it up. Now all I have to do, look at that. You see how those caramelized juices that are in the bottom of the pan? I'm going to use a spatula to kind of push this meatloaf off of, the, um, off of this little insert. And now I've got a perfectly shaped meatloaf. Love it, love it, love it, guys. So I'm going to cut a few slices off. Oh, look at that. Mm. Looks so good, but smells even better. Do you feel the smoke? See the smoke? Smell the smells? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good, so good, so beautiful. Oh, I'm loving it. Can't wait to get into it. Oh, man. I wish you could smell this. We need smell vision here, YouTube. We need smell vision Oh, uh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man. And can you believe, you know, think about the sandwiches tomorrow if there's anything left. Little mayo, little spicy brown mustard, and some bread. Ah. Look at that shine. Look at that hoisin and barbecue sauce. Look at it. Look at, oh, look at it. Mmm. Can't wait, can't wait. Now you can do this because this is so easy, but it's so good. That little bit of sweetness really, really gonna give a kick of the brown sugar. Mm. <laughs> my mouth is watering. <laughs> I am, my mouth is watering. Oh gosh. Okay, now I've served this up and I really put this with some leftovers. This is a little. A Tur few turnip greens. Those are fresh turnip greens. And some um, macaroni and cheese. But I'm interested in this meatloaf. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what I do. I'm trying to make you hungry. Ty trying to inspire you. Trying to get you to get into the kitchen and cook. Make this for your man. Make this for your kids, your family, your friends, your loved ones. 
Heck, even make it for your enemies. You probably change that enemy right into a friend. Oh, meatloaf. An American staple. Who doesn't like meatloaf? So good, so good. So good. Mm, I wish you could smell it. Oh, yeah. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate all my subscribers and the ones of you that don't subscribe. You just come to visit. I love it, too. Thank you for visiting me. Thank you for stopping by to see what I was doing today because you know that Miso was going to be throwing down. I so appreciate it. If you like my videos, share them with all anybody that you know or anywhere you're present on social media. Share my videos. Subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And leave me a comment because I love to hear what you guys are saying and thinking. Appreciate you coming by, guys. And until next time, I will see you. Love you. And bye-bye. Happy cooking. Happy eating. Hey, guys, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.